And I'm Joshua Dufort. And tonight we have a very special guest for you. Um, you might want some pens and paper. He's going to give you some uh, really valuable information. Uh, tonight we have a feature film director, producer, writer, and now professor. Uh, please welcome David Schmoller. <laughs> So, Professor, where did your journey begin in the great world of making film? And I went to film school. Oh, yeah? Yep. I went to um, graduate, undergraduate and graduate school at the University of Texas at Austin. And um, I made seven short films and made a thesis film. That was my last film, and then um, it was nominated for a Student Academy Award, so it got me an agent, and the day after I graduated, I moved with my wife and my son to Los Angeles and began the struggle. <laughs> Did you always want to be a director? No, I, I wanted to be, a, I, I wasn't a big movie person until until film, uh, film school. Oh, yeah. um, I. I High school, I wanted to be a writer, mm -hmm. so I started out writing, and then I went to UT, and some of my friends were in the film school, and it was seemed to be a lot more fun than just writing. <laughs> so and then you studied in Mexico for a little bit as well. I went my first year as an undergraduate student. I went to that was before I wanted to be in film. That was when I wanted to be a writer. So I thought traveling the world would be a good way to learn things to write about. So I, I went to undergraduate school in Mexico City and um, I worked for ABC Sports as an interpreter during the 1968 Olympics. Wow. And I, I, I met a woman who I married and, <laughs> and then we um, moved to, back to Texas where I was from and went to undergraduate and graduate school. How is uh, filming different, or learning about film different in Mexico than it was here in America? Um, I, I didn't study film in, in Mexico, although I knew I had friends who were going to the National Film School. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I doubt that it was that much different. Not much it's different. all about mm -hmm. you learn how to use the equipment and then you mm -hmm. learn how to tell a story. Mm -hmm. So um, you started out writing and then got into like directing and everything. Uh, what was your first movie that you directed? Well, the first one actually was it was a Super 8 animation. Uh, I was in a an, I was in a um, this is 1968 mm -hmm. and many of you are so far from that. <laughs> um, but it was a very wild time. It was a very exciting time. Um, it, was a, it, was a, it was a very psychedelic time. And one of the classes I took was um, a multimedia class. Mm -hmm. And you would walk into the classroom and there were three screens with images going on and rock and roll music. It was at 9 o'clock in the morning. And it just was very exciting. Yeah. And I did a, I did a, I wasn't in film, I wasn't a film major at that point, but I did a, um, uh, a really wild uh, spoof using Barbie dolls. Poor <laughs> <laughs> um, little girl, you stealing from her? I, I, it was, it was so X-rated. I can't tell you. <laughs> oh wow. So, uh, Tourist Trap came out in 79? 70, 70, I, I can't remember if it's 78 or 79, it, and the books have it in different dates. I think we filmed it in 78 and it came out in 79. What did you do between this um, Super 8 <laughs> <laughs> leading up to um, the major films, uh, that's Tourist ten, Trap in 79? That's about 10 years, isn't it? Well, I, I was in school, in, uh, undergraduate and graduate school until 74, mm -hmm. and I moved out to L.A. in 70, uh, 70, in the uh, summer of 74. And I, my first year in L.A., I taught Spanish in high school to make a living. 
and um, then I was accepted at the American Film Institute, and I couldn't eventually go, but they gave me an internship mm -hmm. um, as a director on a film called Capricorn One. So I spent basically a year with the director while he was making his movie. And that was wow. that was really a very good experience because shortly after that I got my first feature and it, I really was much more comfortable about what the process mm -hmm. was because yeah. I'd just seen a, a movie made. Mm -hmm. What was your first feature? Tourist Trap. Tourist Trap. Yeah. Which was a two-hour version of my thesis film, which was The Spider Will Kill You. <laughs> the Spider Will Kill You. <laughs> but it, it, uh, it got a Student Academy Award nomination, and uh, it was a finalist, and it played, it screened at the, at the um, Academy, and it, there were two films. There was my film and Robert Zemeckis' um, wow. thesis film, and he won, and I came in second. But it got me an agent, so. Very nice. Excellent. Yeah. Was that, how was that seeing it up on the big screen for the first time? It was pretty thrilling because you're with the Academy mm -hmm. and Roman Polanski was in the audience mm -hmm. wow. among other people, but he was a, 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 someone I, I greatly admired and I went up to him in the intermission and I was, I, I can't believe that I did what I did, but <laughs> uh, he was, talking to his girlfriend, and his back was to me, and I grabbed his arm and I turned him around and I said, oh, wow. Mr. Polanski, what did you think of my movie? <laughs> it's kind of forward. <laughs> and he kind of looked at me kind of fun, kind of oddly, and, but he was very gracious and, and, uh, and he, he also was very frank and he said, well, I thought it was a bit indulgent. Oh, wow. And I was crushed. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but he was correct. It was a th it was thirty minutes, and it should have been fifteen minutes. Mm -hmm. But that's the biggest problem with shorts is they're always too long. <laughs>